Tokyo Sky Tree and Conveyor Belt Sushi Guide Food and Shopping 18 Recommendations Samurai Junjiro Channel Hi, I'm Akane Maru, born and raised in Japan. This video is about Tokyo Sky Tree. We'll introduce 18 items, which include exclusive menu items from a popular conveyor belt sushi restaurant and cute character merchandise. We'll explain clearly how to get to the stores so it will be helpful for your trip. At the end of the video, we'll also share a way to enjoy this view for free, so please watch it until the end. Now, let's get started! We have arrived at Tokyo Skytree Station. This time, we'll explain it in five sections. If you want to know more information about Tokyo Skytree, please check out the video we previously posted. Now, let's start by introducing a restaurant located about a two minute walk from the base of Tokyo Skytree. This is Kura Sushi Oshiage Store. By the way, you can also get to Tokyo Skytree from Oshiage Skytree Station, not just from Tokyo Skytree Station where we just got off the train. Both stations are right in front of Skytree, so please choose the one that's more convenient for you. The closest exit to Kura Sushi we'll introduce this time is Exit A1 at Oshiage Skytree Station. Alright, let's go inside the restaurant. This restaurant has separate receptions on first and second floors, so please choose the one you prefer. We recommend the second floor as it offers a great view. We'll check in using this machine. There is also an English explanation written next to the machine, so it should be easy to understand. We'll head to the seat number written on the paper. There are also counter seats available. This time, we'll be seated at a table. This restaurant has two conveyor belts. We have detailed explanations about Kura Sushi in our previous video, so we'll add a link in the description box. This time, we'll introduce exclusive menus and more. Before that, let's briefly introduce eight types of sushi that are a bit different from the standard ones. First, we will have the tuna sushi that is marinated in soy sauce and dashi. You can eat it as it is without pouring soy sauce. The tuna is flavored throughout. So, it's a recommended sushi for those who like rich flavors. Next, we will have the seafood salad. It's a sushi made by mixing imitation crab, squid, and flying fish roll with mayonnaise. The crunchy texture is addictive. Next up is a sushi inspired by sukiyaki. It has thinly sliced beef cooked with soy sauce and sugar on top. The richly seasoned beef has a melt in your mouth. This one is a sushi with salmon topped with cheese and mayonnaise, then slightly seared. The fatty salmon, melted cheese, and mayonnaise are a perfect match. Next, we will have the corn and mayonnaise sushi. It's delicious as it is, but when you pour soy sauce, it becomes even more Japanese flavored. With the sweetness of the corn, it's a recommended sushi for kids. Next up is Bonito. It has a sauce made from yuzu and salt, so you can eat it as it is. The refreshing aroma of yuzu and ginger gives you a clean aftertaste. Next, we will have eggs cooked with Japanese style dashi. It's moist and fluffy. The natural sweetness of the dashi gives it an elegant flavor. Next, we will have sushi topped with deep fried squid tempura. First, we eat it with salt. It's freshly fried, so it has a hot and crispy texture. 
We also recommend trying it with the sweet sauce used for eel. The added sweetness gives it a taste similar to tempura rice ball. The size is large, but it's nice that the price is reasonable. Alright, let us introduce three exclusive menu items at this store. First, we will have the red dragon roll. It's a sushi roll filled with shrimp mayonnaise and avocado topped with tuna and tempura bits. The sauce has a spiciness, but the shrimp mayonnaise makes it mild. The crispy texture of the tempura bits is addictive. Next, we will have the popcorn shrimp roll. It's a sushi roll with shrimp mayonnaise and avocado topped with freshly fried shrimp tempura. The plump texture of the shrimp has a sweet taste. Avocado is creamy and delicious. Finally, we will have soft serve ice cream. It's a soft serve inspired by the blue sky scene from the sky tree and is a menu item exclusive to this store. It has more milk than regular soft serve, so it has a sweet taste with a refreshing aftertaste. The waffle cone has a buttery sweetness, making it a perfect match with the soft serve. By the way, the white and blue parts taste the same. Finally, let us introduce the exclusive service at this store. If you win the touch panel game, you can play with a special capsule toy machine that you won't find in regular stores. Alright, let's go to the Sky Tree after paying the bill. We have arrived at Tokyo Sky Tree Town. Tokyo Sky Tree Town is a large complex that combines commercial facilities and the Sky Tree. Inside, there are over 300 shops, so it might be challenging for first time visitors to find their destination store. So, this time, we will use several maps to explain it clearly. Let's start by introducing the commercial facility. Tokyo Solamachi, located right below the Tokyo Sky Tree. The first place we visited is a store right in front of the Tokyo Sky Tree Station East Exit. It's located at this spot on the map. The first one we will introduce is Workman Girl. The name includes Girl, but it's a clothing store that also sells clothes for men. It's operated by a company that creates and sells workwear for outdoor jobs, and they're durable and comfortable clothes, as well as a wide variety of shoes are popular. The main feature is the price. All the products are priced at about half of what you would find in other stores. This time, we bought this t-shirt. It's perfect for hot summers because it uses a cooling material. The fabric is smooth, so it feels nice on the skin and is comfortable to wear. You can also use it as a sportswear. Next, we will introduce Solamachi Shotengai. On the map, you can find it on the first floor in this area. This is a shopping street with about 20 shops lined up along a single corridor. There are many casual dining stores, so it's just right when you want to have a quick meal. There are also restaurants where you can enjoy luxurious seafood bowls with various toppings. One particularly recommended store in this shopping street is Party Rico. It's a shop that gathers popular character merchandise in Japan. There are various items from Kirby to Pokemon and more. We will also introduce another floor specialty store for character merchandise later. Next, we will introduce the second floor. This floor has various shops, including apparel brands and restaurants. In the food marsha area, there are supermarkets and many takeout specialty stores. You can also buy food here and have lunch at the outdoor tables. There are some unique sweets and exclusive foods that you can only try here, so we highly recommend it. Next, let us introduce this store, Kaldi. 
This is a specialty store for coffee beans, but it's also a popular store that has a wide variety of products from Japan and abroad. In the Ueno shopping video, we introduce a spread that makes melon bread easily. This time, we will introduce a different type. This is a spread that you can make curry bread easily. Let's make it! Spread the curry bread paste on the bread. Once the paste is spread all over, bake it in the toaster oven. When it gets lightly browned, it's ready! Curry bread was made easily. It has a nice aroma of spices. Breadcrumbs and potatoes are mixed in the paste, so it has a crispy texture like curry bread. It's spicy and delicious. Please give it a try. All right, let's move on to the third floor. The third floor is divided into two areas, fashion and goods and food court. First, let's start with the food court. There are 11 shops in this food court, and it gets crowded with many people during lunchtime. You can enjoy various foods, like desserts made with bananas or rich soft-serve ice cream wrapped in crepe dough. We also recommend trying the oyakodon, a dish with chicken cooked in Japanese broth and eggs. In front of this food court, there are five specialty shops for characters and toys. It's located in a slightly hard-to-find spot, but if you head towards the food court, you'll easily get there. Now, let us introduce this store, Miffy Style. They sell various Miffy merchandise, and there are plenty of items that you can only find in Japan. This time, we'll introduce two recommended items from this store. The first one is the cookies. There are two types of cookies in the shape of Miffy's face. Plain cookies have a nice buttery aroma. It's not too sweet and delicious. This cookie is chocolate flavored. It has a nice aroma of cocoa and has an elegant taste. Both cookies resemble Miffy and are adorable. They are recommended as souvenirs for children. Next up is this figurine. It's a small figurine in the shape of Miffy made of soft material. It's usually intended as a decorative item, but you can also use it as a chopstick rest. It's nice that the price is reasonable. There are also colors available in brown and gray. The next store we will introduce is located about a two-minute walk from Miffy style. This is Disney Store Tokyo Skytree Town Solamachi. They sell various Disney character items here. Not widely known, but there are also items that are only available in Japan or exclusive to Tokyo. If you're a Disney fan, you should visit. Now, let's move to the fourth floor. The fourth floor is divided into two areas with Tokyo Skytree at the center. In this area, you can find aquariums and McDonald's, but most of the popular shops among tourists are located in this area. A landmark is the Kirby Cafe. We introduced the Kirby Cafe in a previous video. We'll also introduce a specialty store for Kirby merchandise later, so stay tuned! By the way, there are also stores on this floor where you can buy Sanrio character merchandise like Hello Kitty. Next up is this store, Doraemon Future Department Store. On the map, you can find it at this location. You can buy merchandise of Doraemon, a popular animal character in Japan. At this store, we'll introduce Doraemon's favorite food, dorayaki. The dough of this dorayaki has Doraemon stamped on it. It has a sweet aroma of honey. Inside, it's filled with plenty of red bean paste made from beans produced in Hokkaido. The lightly sweet red bean paste and moist, fluffy dough are a perfect match. 
right in front of Doraemon Future Department Store, there's another store we'll introduce next. This is Pokemon Center Skytree Town. It's a Pokemon Center that opened in 2016, and they sell lots of plush toys and cute character items. They also have the snack and corn soup we introduced in the Shibuya Parko video available in this store. It's recommended as a souvenir. Now, let's move on to the next place. Next up is this store, Ganso Shokuhin Sampoya. This store is the same as the food sample specialty store in Kappabashi. You can buy various types of food samples like key rings. Photography is allowed, so take a picture of your favorite sample. They also sell DIY food sample making kits, so give it a try. Let's move on to the next store. Next is Kirby Cafe The Store. Originally opened as a limited time event, it became a permanent store in 2021 after the extension of the event period. They sell two types of adorable juices. Now, let's try the pink color juice. It's cute that Kirby is attached to the straw. The juice is lemonade flavored. It's colorful with grape and mango jelly inside. It also has natare coco, so the texture is nice. After finishing the juice, you can remove Kirby from the straw and display it as a decoration. Next, let us introduce the 6th and 7th floors. These two floors are dedicated to restaurants, with around 30 restaurants inside. You can enjoy various cuisines from different countries, not just Japanese food, so you'll surely find something you want to eat. By the way, on this floor, there is Rokurinsha, a popular ramen shop with long lines at Tokyo Station. During lunchtime, there is a long line, so we recommend coming around 3 p.m. Next up at this store, Gion Tsujiri. This is a specialty store that uses matcha in Japanese sweets. Drinks and soft serve ice cream made with matcha are popular. This time, we'll introduce this soft serve that is exclusive to the Skytree store. This is a luxurious dessert with matcha soft serve, red bean paste, shiratama rice cake balls, and matcha snack. The spoon is in the shape of Skytree, adding a special touch. In addition to the classic white shiratama, there is also matcha-flavored shiratama. It has a little bitterness and a chewy texture. The matcha snacks are filled with cream. The red bean paste has a mild sweetness and a nice texture with the bean skin as a good accent. The soft serve has a sweet milk flavor with the aroma of matcha. With the addition of the bitter matcha sauce, you can enjoy an authentic taste. Lastly, we'll share useful tips for visiting the Skytree. In a previous video about the Skytree, there was a comment that the ticket price to the observation deck is too expensive. We think the price is worth it since you can see the view from the tallest building in Japan, but we'll also introduce a recommended place for people on a budget. That's Solamachi Dining Skytree View on the 30th and 31st floors. It's a restaurant floor, but you can see this view even without entering the restaurant. It's a recommended spot for people who want to save money or for those who have visited the Skytree many times. You should go there. We are looking for members who can support this channel. That's all for this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye!